take a look up. <laughs> there it is, Nancy, in Washington State. Oh, look, and there's something in the capture tray. Guess you'll have to find out what it is when it gets there. <laughs> Great talking to you. I'll go get some gold. Greetings everybody, Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap. So I got a comment from Kirk Aldos and he asked, can you share a close-up pic of your specimen rock? So I'm shooting this video, so it'll be on my SD card and I won't forget because there's just so much going on here. <laughs> I just, oh, oh, just got back with three four by eight sheets of polycarbonate and thank you Lord, the uh, the edges they were really rough for quite a while there because they were slacking on the uh, production of them I guess but these sheets are all good but anyway so back to the rock um, yeah so it's an interesting specimen for sure and if you look at it with a jeweler's loop you can look way down inside the rock it seems with the uh, jeweler's loop in a di few different spots um, that hole right there here at an angle looking in this way there in here and right there two different spots um, and then right in here there's a few spots where you can look right down inside the rock amazing just absolutely amazing major crack right here you can look way down in another vug there I mean it's really vuggy really vuggy and oxidized mineralized a lot of um, crystal like quartz inside of it absolutely amazing and I thought that that was iron but it's not magnetic so it's not iron it could be hematite not sure if that's the case then it probably came out of a breccia tube undoubtedly but the question is what came out of all these vugs right I mean look at that hole right there right there unbelievable and like I said, I know there's gold in it. Now that we've did that, we did that uh, that test with the um, dowsing rods, just a demonstration of what they're able to do. Not knowing for sure if that's what they did and how they did it, but I think that pretty much proved it when we did that video yesterday. It just depends on what you're looking for. So when I put the dowsing rods over this rock, I was thinking gold. So there's gold in this. No doubt about it. Absolutely no doubt about it. Another bug there. A couple of them. Holes that go right inside the rock. And Dark Canyon Prospecting, he suggested that I soak it for months in uh, maybe a 5 gallon bucket, 2.5 gallon bucket in vinegar. So I think I might do that and just let it sit in there and see what happens. I mean, I've got, I've got um, hydrochloric acid, but where do I put it? I mean, because that puts off fumes. <laughs> so, but anyway, I also have some pictures that uh, Dark Canyon Prospecting took of this specimen rock. Hopefully, I can find them or retrieve them in email. So I'll put them after this little video clip. And if you don't know flash in your pan, something's wrong. So anyway, catch you all later. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your question, Kirk. And uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.